Hello Year 11. Your final paper is paper three, which is the modern depth study Weimar and Nazi Germany 1918 to 39. You have an hour and 20 minutes for this paper and you can see the breakdown on the screen in front of you of how long you should spend on each question. Just to remind you that it's divided into two sections, a section A and a section B. Section A involves an inference question and an explain why, which is the same style of question that you have also had in your Elizabeth paper and your medicine paper. Section B revolves around two interpretations and two sources, which will be in a separate booklet that you will have alongside your answer booklet. And you're asked to decide how useful sources are, the difference between two interpretations, one reason why they are different and how far you agree with interpretation two. So just spend some time familiarising yourself with the layout of the paper and how long you should spend on each question, please. There are three broad topics that you need to know for this PPE. The first one is the recovery of the Weimar Republic from 24 to 29. So that's looking around the work of Stresemann. The second one, which is a larger topic, is Nazi control and dictatorship from 33 to 39. So that's the creation of a dictatorship. So we're talking about the Reichstag fire and the Enabling Act. The police state, thinking about the Gestapo, the SS, the SD, the use of concentration camps. Controlling and influencing attitudes, so we're talking about propaganda at that point. Opposition, so any groups that did not um, obey the Nazi regime, did not support it. And resistance and conformity. And the final topic is Nazi policies towards the young. There are two ways that you could do this, again, like we've done previously. Start with the topics that you are least confident on. You can go onto the online revision guide or the PDF copies are on Arbor for you to read through and then answer the questions. Or I've also put some links to YouTube clips in case you want to listen to the overview of those time periods. But whichever method you choose, please make sure you're active. Please make sure that you are applying that knowledge by answering the questions in the revision guide or your own. And finally, year 11, there's a link on this slide, and again, it's on Arbor, to the full walkthrough of paper three in terms of structure. So it won't be the actual paper that you sit, but it goes through how you answer each question, including sentence starters, timings, and just those top tips. Good luck.